Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's vlog. I don't even know what day we're on. Let me just check. It is the 18th of April. Where has the time gone? Seriously, it seems like the days are dragging, but they're just going so fast. It's just a really, really way, weird way to, I'm feeling, and I just don't know how to explain it, but it's just, it just seems mental. Like the days are just going so crazy. Yet yeah, they just seem like they're going so slow as well. Even though it's probably just not even making sense. Anyway, the kids have gone to school. Obviously, Lee picks up what potatoes to school now, which is a massive big help, especially with having a newborn baby. And it just helps so much because they could get stuff done in the morning. I am kind of getting some kind of routine going now, which is a bonus, but obviously it's not the situation that I prefer to be in, but it's one that I've got to learn to live with. So we're going to go out to the play centre today. It's the first time we've been out and done anything with Minna since Dave's passing. So I thought that, obviously we've been out with the, all of them together, but I've not given her like that little bit of one-to-one -one that we used to do with me and Dave. So I feel like she's been missing out. Anyway, um, I need to order the baby a new bouncy chair today because I did have this uh, seat of Chloe's, but it just takes up so much space. And I need something that I can fold up at the end of the night, put away, and it just looks tidy. I've got OCD, like, so bad. <laughs> but anyway. We've got little Miss here. She's just sat in a bugger. Well, she's sat in Minnie's bugger. Because this is the comfiest spot, isn't it? Yeah, this is how she likes to sit in this. <laughs> she hates this chair. Well she, do well, she doesn't hate it, but I feel like she feels like she can't see enough. I remember when we had Minnie's chair, she hated it because she would lay so back. I mean, I think you can sit this up a bit, but I haven't got a clue how to do it. And it's they're just, they're really ideal. We've got a nice little spot to put them in. But because we haven't at the minute, like we could have put it in this corner, but I need to sort shed out to put the bike in it. Yeah, baby? My dress. Your hair is wild. My dress. Yeah, you're going to get dressed, aren't you? Yeah, we didn't show the guy. Oh, did I show you the guys your new sets? I can't remember. Anyway, I bought um, no, 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 no. Minnie some new clothes out of her birthday money that Mason no, got. I can't remember clothes. whether you would have already seen this by now. Yeah, no, they're the babies. No, my clothes. Now, these are your clothes. This one, yeah, this is a little, one of the little tracksuits. And oh. you got another one. Babies. Which I think I've got a picture of her in it, so mm. I'll leave a picture. Babies. They're yours. They're your socks. They're the baby's socks. Put them pink ones there. Them ones. No, they're yours. Babies. They're babies. No, mine. No, they're babies. Look, because they match her outfit. Yeah? Babies. Yeah, put them there for mummy. I'll dress baby once I've dressed you, right? Wait, yeah. Okay. And then we'll go and see Angela, yeah? Angie, yeah. yeah. My socks. Your socks, yeah. We're going to go to the play centre? Yep. Yep. You excited? Mm. Oh. Excited. Excited, yeah. So, I'm going to get these two little adorable little babies dressed. And then, I'm going to go to Angela's. And then I think Chelsea's going to meet us there with Arabella. Hey, yes. Oh, Arabella's coming. Do you want Arabella to come and play with you? No. Uh, At the play centre? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That'll be fun, won't it? Yeah. You're so cute. You're so cute. What are you doing? You can't eat the side of you, though, there. <laughs> and you? Hey. She's yeah. trying to eat the plastic on her, though, didn't she? Yeah, daddy, she was trying yeah. to bite it. She's so cheeky. Bite it. It's your sister, your best friend? Yeah. Yeah, good. Best friends forever. Friend, I said. Yeah. Friend. Best friend, yeah. Friend. Oh, you're so cute, aren't Thomas. you? Hey. She's so cute. She's so cute. And you're so cute. You're so cute. Little diddy dog. Yeah, leave it over there for mummy. <laughs> so I thought we'd do a little bit of a vlog. I kind of feel like I don't even know how to vlog anymore. I just, I'm just kind of going with it and just seeing what comes, basically. I just feel like I've lost my way doing everything. Um... We do have a holiday but obviously for July that is in Wales for 10 days and then we go to Florida in November and then 
we did ha well we were going to Butlins for new year but it was my mistake because i thought they sent a confirmation booking which it does say confirmation booking on the email so i just assumed right that started then it's booked but i didn't think to go on it and look at it and look at the small print where it says this is only a quote not an actual booking so when i come to pay it the other day they were like oh there's no booking and i was like well i have booked it because i've had confirmation sent and they said yeah but did you read the small print but it does say that this is only a quote not a so my mistake so we could have gone but we'd have to do it over three rooms and we need another two adults to come because there's no three bedrooms left so it looks like that's going to be something we do next year now because well, we, we probably still could go to Butlins. We just won't be able to do it New Year. Maybe I could check for Christmas and see what they've got for them. Um, that's not a bad idea. And then I'd be looking for a little trip to Disneyland Paris for the kids in maybe January. So we'll see. I have got some quotes on that and they're coming back pretty cheap. I'm sorry, but my nose is so blocked. I've got so much, like, just... A build up on the back of my throat and the chest. I think it's from having the cold and the flu. It's just, it's really doing me anything. So I feel like I'm talking like I'm bunged up. It's because I am. But anyway, I'm going to get the kids dressed. I'm going to get to Angela's and we're going to get something done for this day. Well, some kind of vlog for today. Okay, guys, so she's dressed. She's got a new tracksuit on. Give us a twirl. Woo! So pretty. Let's see your tracksuit. You got bunny on it. Can you see? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice bunny. See? Yeah. See? Gorgeous, aren't you? <laughs> you look beautiful. These tracksuits are so cute. You got two of them. So there's this one, and then the other one's white with purple bunnies on. You look so adorable. Should we dress your sister now? We're on a we're on a roll. It is. Let's go see what time it is. Oh, is that my ice cream? Thanks. Mmm, I love ice cream at like half nine in the morning. Amazing. Mmm. Yeah, it's a bit early for me to have ice cream. Trying to watch me wait. Yeah, watch me wait. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to eat healthy. I bet mine, all mine. Yes. Oh, have I got another one? Yeah. Cheers, thanks. Mmm. Mmm. God, lovely. Yummy. Mm. Do you like it? Do you like strawberry? I'm not keen on strawberry, oh, actually. Yeah. I'm not keen. I'm not keen on strawberry. Yeah. I like vanilla. Yeah. I want just a white one. Cream one. Yeah, well, the cream one. Yeah, that'll do, that one. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, let me put it on quick. Ta, that one. Do you want to take your strawberry one back? No. Do you want to go put it back in the shop? No. Your pink one? No, pink shop. Right. I can't sit here eating ice creams all day or we won't get to the play centre. Peace. <laughs> right, can, can I have one later now? Let's get your sister dressed and then we could go out, yeah? Okay? Ice cream. Yeah, and then we'll have more ice creams, right? Okay. Mmm. Need to paint this wall again. Didn't realise it was a dirty mat there, so I need to clean that. Because that will do my head in all day. But yeah, it's currently only 25 past nine. Okay, so baby number two, dressed and ready to go out, isn't she? Hey? Show you, show the guys what you're doing. You're putting a nappy on your baby, aren't you? Oh yeah, you look so gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, you do look gorgeous. You've not pooed. I've just done your bum. No. You have. She keeps saying this all the time. No, Literally, she's not done anything, and she's she keeps passing a nappy every five minutes, saying I pooed, I pooed. She's not. She's literally just had a bum done. Come on, show the guys your nappy for your baby. I've had to stop putting the baby in the Little Angels ones because I don't know if you know, but when Minnie was little, she had a really bad reaction to them where it literally Mommy! took the... What? Oh, yeah, where it literally took the skin off her bum and it was red raw. And she ended up having to go on 
um, steroid cream to clear it. Mama well, Mama 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 has done the same. Luckily, Mama it's not as bad because Mama we've... Oh, yeah? Because we've stopped using nappies. Um, the, with the little angels ones. I don't even know why I bought them, to be honest. I think it's just habit when you're just going around shopping and you just pick them up. But anyway, hers is clearing now and we've changed to... The Tesco's ones, I usually use Pampers, to be honest. I don't usually use any other brand. Um, but I just thought, do you know what? Everyone was saying, why don't you just try them? Because they're cheaper and, you know, it would save you a little bit of money. And obviously, because of the situation that I'm in, obviously every penny counts at the minute. So if the Fred and Flo ones work, then I'm not going to complain because it's going to save me. Well, literally, I could get two big packs of them for the price you pay for the pampers so she seems to be okay with them at the minute so i'm not complaining and a bum's clearing so that that says that they obviously are irritating now which is a good thing so anyway we're almost done just need to make a bottle make sure there's nappies in the bag and then we can go can't we hey very organized oh, us just put a wash in took the other washing out got two little maidens here that just been drying in the day when i've just been here on my own doing nothing um obviously i want to try and get back to doing a little bit of work like photography and stuff so i have got a christening that's coming up on the 21st i mean she did message and say don't worry about it but i think i think i just need to get back to it i need i need to keep some kind of normality the t-shirts are selling really well um i've been doing the in fact let me turn you around so as you know, Taylor Swift is um, touring and I've been selling the t-shirts for that. And oh my God, literally just like, they're just doing so well, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna, there's obviously other um, singers touring and there's other things that I can do. So I'm definitely gonna look into that later on tonight, see who's touring. See who's, um, obviously we can make t-shirts for, because it's just a winner. Literally, it's just been, so the money I've just been making off that is just been paying the Sky Bill, which is a bonus. It's literally like I'm not, I'm not paying for it really. So I look at it as a winner. Anyway, I'm going to get sorted, sort myself out. I have booked into a hairdresser's to, because Dave used to put my hair extensions in. In fact, I did used to put me myself. He used to just get one of the kids to hold him. So I might just do that again. I might put me on air extensions in, but I'm going to have it cut first. Um, but that was the reason why I was going to have them fitted this time. Because I want them, I want my hair cut into the extension. So when I put them back in, like over and over, they fit and match my hair as my hair grows. But yeah, anyway, so hopefully... I did have my Botox as well, although this side, it needs refilling because when I look up, it's kind of thin in here, like it's not lifted properly. So I'm due a top up anyway. But I've not had it for that long. My head's probably just like... And I know if your body is in a, under a lot of stress, it can affect like the way it produces in your skin. So anyway, hopefully... It'll be all good and we'll sort it out. So I'm going to finish getting dressed and we're going to go and we're going to do something and have a little bit of fun with the babies. Hi, baby. No, now you're interested in my phone. I wanted to catch her smiling because she was just smiling when I was saying, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Now she's seen my phone. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, she doesn't baby. want to smile, do you? Hello. Hi, baby. Hi, Tiki. Hi, Tiki. Hi. Tiki, 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 tiki. You can't even reach, can you? <laughs> tiki, tiki, tiki. Yay! Tiki, tiki, tiki. Boo! A boo! A boo! Reach? Yeah. You want to reach? Yeah. <laughs> oh, go on. Go on. Say tiki, tiki, tiki. Quick. <laughs> Tiki tiki tiki. <laughs> Yay! You did it. You made a smile. Aren't you clever? Boo! <laughs> She's so cute. Cute. She's so cute. Cute. Huh? 
Abu, Abu, she's so chica. She's always staring into space. I know they say that like babies can see things, and they always think his Dave stood in a room with us. In fact, I've got a really like nice little story to tell you, but scary as well. It's not scary, but like obviously different. Um, but I am sure you can see your daddy because you are always smiling. You have literally been smiling since the day you were born, aren't you? And she just literally goes into like staring mode and just stares and laughs. So I don't know. I don't know. I think you can see your daddy. Yeah. Can you see your daddy? Hey, you've seen your daddy, haven't you? I know you've seen your daddy. Baby. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. Do you want to dress that baby? Oh, you're getting the baby to say hello, baby. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Be careful it don't hit her. Right, come on, should we put the nappy on your dolly? No. Oh, she's a cheeky girl. She's so cute. She's so cute. Right, come on, let's go. Let's get ready. Let's get started. Baby number three, nappy on, just needs to get dressed now. Oh, are you going to sort her out? Yeah, we need to find the clothes. Don't take a nappy off now. I'll just put it on. Don't you take that nappy off, you cheeky. Okay. Your cheeky. Okay. Your cheeky. Okay. Your cheeky cheeky. Okay. Anyway, mummy needs to go and have some breakfast, and then we're all done. We're all ready to go out. Are you making ice creams? God, this flooring needs changing so bad the looking state of it. I mean it was like this when we moved in, so it definitely needs something putting over it and we've still not even fi start finished. We never even started in this kitchen to be honest. This all this woodwork needs painting, which I am getting around to doing this week. So I'm gonna clean all this in a bit, bleach it all. Well, once we come back. And then I've got someone coming out tomorrow to measure up the kitchen to have New line I'll put over the top of this. So that should look nice. Time to hang up a little bit of washing before we go out. on the little toy machines and she's got her on the merry-go-round which you've probably seen by now she's so cute though but she chipped a tooth so we took her to the dentist and she had like um, a coating put on it so it looked like it had like a filling put on it and then we went for something to eat and she bit into this dead hard lo lolly and it came out so if you see that a two foot chip to his chip, but hopefully we'll be able to get the dentist tomorrow and have that put back on again with a bit of luck. Um, but they said like they wouldn't do anything with it because they're only baby teeth, so they would literally just leave them there. But I just I hate it. You know me, look after the kids' teeth like so much, and because she's fell and chipped it, it's just it's now starting to affect the other teeth, which is just a bit of a nightmare. But anyway, Chelsea's here with us. Arabella's here, although she's not even been to see me yet. Chelsea's here holding baby. Have you lost the kids already? Arabella's in the big area over there. Oh, she's found her. Are you coming to play? Are you going to make me some dinner? Come here, mummy, some dinner. Quick. 
Um, I want um, an egg, please. Right? See you soon. You're making me dinner? Thanks. <laughs> she makes me laugh. Are you making me some dinner? Oh, God, I can't even get in here. What, are you making me? An egg? Oh, God. Your kitchen's a bit of a mess. I think you need to tidy up. Oh, oh, you're shoveling me an egg up. Ta. You have to find me a plate to put it on now. Can you find a plate anywhere? No. Uh, maybe tidy your kitchen and then you might find everything. Oh, it don't matter. Use the pan. Put it in the pan. There's a pan in the cupboard there. Pan in the cupboard. Use the pan. Yeah, put the egg in the pan. Oh, well, I wanted to eat it, actually. <laughs> oh, you do make me laugh, you do. Right, tidy your kitchen, right? Make sure you hoover. Hoover up. Hoover your kitchen. Don't want to help you tidy up? Don't want to help you? Baby. Baby? Are you finding a baby? Go on then. Um, I don't know where all the dollars have gone. It's not been very well looked after, has it? Come and see if they're in here. Um, come and have a look in there. Is there a baby in here? No, no baby in there. No baby in there. Is there a baby in here? No babies in there. No babies in there, no. And there's no babies in there. Go and have a look in that other part. Go and have a look in there. See if there's a baby in there. No, okay then. Alright then, do you find a baby? If you find one, let me know. Don't be too old, will you? Right, let's go and look in this other cupboard. Move out of the way a minute then. Is there not one in here? Yeah. No. Where's all the dollies gone? Oh, we're not having this, are we? There's not one dolly, is there? There's no dollies in there. Oh. Let's put this straight. No dolly in there. I don't know where all the dollies are gone. They're all gone. Aren't they? Let me go and ask the lady where all them dollies have gone. Right? Make me some dinner instead, right? Make me make me that egg on toast. Don't stand on that, you'll hurt your foot. Yeah, don't stand on it. You'll hurt your foot, you'll get it stuck. Do some hoovering. Hoover up. Get the hoover there. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to leave her to do what she wants to do. What, baby? We can have some din dins in a minute. Okay, so we've just got home from the play centre. I'll pick the kids up from school. Now we're sitting watching a little bit of Disney, trying to get the girls into knowing what they're going to see and what to look forward to when they go to Florida. Um, so we've been watching parades and stuff like that and all different things that are there. So Aurora's had an eye test today and it's come back that she's got reduced vision in one or both eyes, not met requirement levels, which I can't understand that because she'll tell me she could see a plane a million miles away in the sky. So I think the lion, or she's just got a lazy eye today because if she could, I mean, I'm blind. But when I see the plane, like it's the tiniest little dot, something that you wouldn't expect a child to be able to see and she could see that for a million miles away. So I don't know how they're saying she's got reduced vision. And then it says not past a 3D vision. So I'm not too sure what that means. Her eyesight seems pretty fine to me, but it is what it is. We'll see. So anyway, we're home. We've been watching some Disney. Gonna sort some washing out, put some tea on. Um, Chloe's staying tonight with Willow, so I think we're gonna order a curry later on. 
and yeah, just chill out basically because I feel like I've not seen Chloe for ages. Obviously, she's been work and Will always been Paula, so she's been at home and stuff. So she's not been that much, which I don't blame her when she, she Chloe has a habit when she's ill. She goes and meets everybody else bowlers. So I told her, if you get ill, stay away because we don't need any more bugs. So that's what she's done. Anyway, hopefully we'll always on the men now because that baby just is all constantly. So hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, she's okay and she's, she stays that way. But we had fun, didn't we today? Oh, you're drinking your water? Oh, you love your flavoured waters, don't you? Hey. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Did you have fun? Did you have fun at the play centre? Playing with Arabella. Like it. You like it? Yep. Do you want to go there? Are you excited? My mouse. Minnie Mouse? Yeah. And Mickey Mouse? Yeah. And who's this? This is Donald Duck Bess. and Daffy Duck. Bess. Yeah? Bess. Look at them all. Oh. Aww. So excited. So excited. And we're going at a different time this year, aren't we? So we're going to get to experience it in a whole different time yeah. but next time we'll go and take them in the summer yeah like summertime it'd probably be better for the kids actually it probably won't be as hot but anyway i'm gonna go and get sorted and then see where the rest of the day takes us oh we might get to look at the rest of that baby stuff tonight and this little one just put her in here because obviously we've just come home from school i'm gonna make her a bobak and then it's feeding time again Mom. yes it's feeding time again yes and then you've got Aurora shouting at me to tell her that she's finished on the toilet. So we're going to go. <laughs>